Japanese beetles are ecosystem wreckers here in the U.S. Not only that, but their feeding habits cost the U.S. economy big time. Let me tell you about it and how you can protect your yard and your money from these little monsters. Adult Japanese beetles are almost a half inch long with a metallic green head and a thorax with copper brown wing covers. They've also got five white tufts of hair on their abdomen that give them away. Here in Missouri, you'll see them in mid-June through August. Before pupating into adults, Japanese beetles spend the largest part of their lives as larvae. And if you've ever used a shovel to move dirt in your yard or garden, you've probably come across them. They're C-shaped, white to cream-colored grubs with a distinct tan-colored head and a tail end that is typically a darker color due to internal fecal matter. That's poop. Legs are easy to see. My guess is the design for the crime boss from the Han Solo movie was based upon a Japanese beetle grub. While Japanese beetles are a healthy part of their ecosystem in native Japan, where natural predators keep populations balanced, these are nuisance organisms in other parts of the world like the U.S., where we don't have the luxury of depending upon predators to keep them in check. Humans caused this problem when we introduced Japanese beetles back in 1916, so it's up to us to figure out how to fix it. They absolutely wreck ecosystems, skeletonizing leaves of plants that would otherwise have continued to photosynthesize and grow or would have become food for a native species. These beetles feed on over 300 species of plants, including maples, fruit trees, roses, blackberries and raspberries, elms, grapes, and others. They also love some of our agricultural plants too, like corn and soybeans. As larvae, they also attack the roots of turf grass and in large numbers can cause the grass to turn brown and die and pull away from soil like loose carpet. They do an estimated $500 million worth of damage annually. Okay, so what do we do about it? While insecticides can put a dent in their population, organic control is a much safer approach without any negative impacts on the ecosystems we're trying to keep safe. Here are three ideas for safely knocking down their populations. Soapy water treatment. Just fill a bucket or any container with water and a little soap and then mix until sudsy. Head out in the morning or evening when Japanese beetles are slow and sluggish and knock them off of leaves into the soapy water where they'll drown. Since they leave a pheromone residue where they gather in large numbers, you can head to the same locations in your yard the next day and you'll probably find more. Since most of their lives are spent underground as grubs, some people have a lot of luck with spreading biological treatments. Milky spore bacteria and parasitic nematodes, which are microscopic worms, are two great options for people that have the foresight to inoculate their land with a defense strategy in advance. If you like planting flowers on your property, annual geraniums are known to attract Japanese beetles, which promptly become paralyzed soon after gnawing on the foliage. This leaves them defenseless to attacks from predators or humans that wouldn't otherwise be able to catch them. And for more ideas on battling these and other garden pests, you can click the next video linked here.